Hi, I'm BuilderDude35, and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial about constants and variables. So today's tutorial is going to be about advanced programming for the EV3, and I'm going to be teaching you how to use constants and variables, which are decidedly pretty advanced. And these constants and variables are essential to know for things like WRO or FLL, or just in everyday programming if you want to take it to the next level. So without further ado, I'm going to open up my EV3 software and give you the lesson there. Both of these blocks are going to be found in the data operations section. A constant block is essentially a block where you set the value for one uh, constant, and it comes in text, numeric, logic, numeric array, and logic array. I'll go over the array functions in next week's tutorial. In this top right corner here, you need to type in the value of the constant, and it will never change. So in this case, I'm using 56 as my value and it's a numeric value and you can plug this into say like a motor to set the motors power or you can plug it into a speaker and that sets the speakers volume and the 56 becomes a value for both of these or you can try text in the top right corner you write your value in this case I'm writing hello and what I'm doing now is I'm going to take out a screen block and I'm going to set it up so that the value of my constant here is going to end up being the text displayed on the EV3 brick screen. So that's what I'm setting up right now. And basically you transfer the value of a constant to whatever action block you want it to go to or a math block via data wire. Lastly, we're going to try out logic. This is where you choose true or false in the top right window instead of typing in your own thing. And I'm just demonstrating it here with this switch block. And again, you're going to transfer your data value through a data wire. So next we have variables. And a variable is similar to a constant, but it represents a value that can change at any time and it has a read and a write operation and inside each of these there's the five different functions that we saw with the constant operation and in the top right corner what you do is you're naming your variable so you add the variable and name it whatever you want in this case I'm naming it intensity for the sake of the tutorial and it can be whatever you want and you can choose read or write I'm gonna start with write and numeric and what the cool thing about variables is, is you can take a sensor block and you can have the sensor write the variable. And so what I mean is now that you've plugged the sensor in like this, whatever the value the sensor the, is reading right now becomes the value of the variable. Or you could just type it in like I'm doing here, like it's a constant. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take another one of these variables and set it to read. Now you're going to select the same variable that you had before, intensity, make sure it's numeric, and then you can drag out whatever action that you want it to affect, and you drag out your data wire to an appropriate data port, and now it's controlling the speed of a motor, or you can use it to control the sound of a speaker, and just like with constants, there's different modes. And so here you can manage your variables in the project properties menu, you can delete them, or you can also add new ones. Um, here I'm just going to randomly type letters, I don't know what to name it. And there's also, you could choose from the five different functions and click OK to add it. Lastly, if you want the variable to be written and read only once, what you're going to do is leave it as it is. But if you want your variable to continuously write and read and continuously change its value, you're going to need to put it into a loop block like I'm showing here. Thank you for stopping by this week guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more EV3 tutorials every week and specifically I'm going to be focusing on WRO tutorials in the next few weeks. So I'll see you next time with a tutorial about arrays. Thank you and bye.